change is good in life. You gotta accept and welcome change in your life. And today I'll talk to you about Port Royal 4. So a couple days ago, there was the possibility to pre-purchase Port Royal 4 from Calypso and it will grant you access to the beta. Of course I did so because uh, I quite liked previous games even though I found them to be quite repetitive. But I just want to get that out of the picture. I'm not being provided a free copy. According to my track record of reviews of Calypso, I don't expect them to ever give me a free copy again, ever. But I wanted to touch a subject with Port Royal 4. I'll be very brief. If you go into the game for the management side and everything, everything is normal, right? It's just like Port Royal 3 or Rise of Venice or Patrician. It's the same assets being copied again and pasted, just like they did for Grand Age Medieval. Is that a bad choice? Is that a right choice? I don't know, but it's not a change, that's for sure. Now, I'm not saying the game is the same thing as Sport Royal 3. There's some quite important difference. Uh, the first one, if you go on the world view, you got a entire world in 3D, and the city is rather than being like a two minute load time to go into M, you just zoom in and it's right there on the world map. So that's definitely some change, some welcome change. I didn't see anybody complain about that change, but I did see a lot of people complain about other changes. These other changes that were very, very complained about from uh, different videos and uh, previews and forum posts and wherever you want, people were apparently not too pleased with the undertaking that Calypso has decided to do with the way the battles are played out in Port Royal 4. So if you played any of the previous title, except the very early ones, when you engage in a battle with your ship, you actually went to the ship just like Sid Meier's Pirates and you were able to directly control the ship, order fire on the side, you had to aim the shot, it was a tactical battle, but it being changed a lot for Port Royal 4. You don't have any tactical approach to the game anymore. When you go into the battle, you go into a turn by turn battle sequence. I think this change is not as bad as people claim. People will come and say it's a downgrade, it's unbelievable that this series goes from remarkable tactical combat for the ships to a turn based combat for a ship just doesn't doesn't feel like an upgrade. Usually we see the other way around. A game goes from turn based combat system to a tactical combat system. It can still be kind of turn based, but it's usually an upgrade that we go through. And now it seems like Calypso, what they did with Port Royal 4, is a big leap backward with the combat, at least from what it appears on the surface. So let's, let's, before talking about really the turn-based combat, I want to go back on other titles I've played, like Rise of Venice and Port Royal 3 and Patrician 4. And the combat is not that great, to be honest. The combat is problematic because there are some strategies that are so useful that there's no reason to not use them. Uh, for example, the, the best strategy is just like in Sid Meier's Pirate is to take a, the smallest ship, fastest ship and just kite your enemy across the entire Atlantic Ocean back and forth until you destroy them. So effectively, in these games, you can take a, the, the cheapest ship with cannons and you can run down the entire enemy fleet uh, with no repercussion at all. That's not exactly what I call tactical. This is more of a grind, a long, boring grind. But this is what we add in most of the series until now. Now with the, the release of the beta of Port Royal 4, we have a new perspective to the combat of the ships themselves. So I know that the first thing you'll ask me, is it perfect? Of course not. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect. There's a lot of little things tickling me that I don't like about the current system and we'll take overview of them in a short while. And uh, the second question Kel asked me, is it good? And my answer is no, read the title properly. I said it's better than you think, not that it's good. And the reason it's better than you think is, just as I mentioned, the tactical battle was really easy to cheese. 
you didn't really have to build up a massive force to take over the enemy country. You just had to, to kite them round, 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 round until you defeat them all. And this gets boring. Here, if you want to win a battle, you, have to, you need to have the better ships, the better fleet, the better uh, card events you can pop in. And you have to make decisions because you will have to take damage in combat compared to the previous title where you just had one ship running down the entirety of the enemy fleet, which was unrealistic. So this new approach, as I said, is different. It's a change and that's good. That's what I like about it. I'm not a fan of how it was implemented yet, but it's still early beta, so I think they can work out the kinks. And when I started playing, I didn't know what to expect. I was aware that the world, uh, the battle changed a lot, but I didn't know exactly how or why. And when I, I got into my first battle, it downed on me. I didn't really like the way the ship control, it just seems like Ships can do whatever, big ships are too overpowered and stuff. And it made me think, and I had memories coming back from, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. So it could be very wrong memories, but I was playing a game called Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho Pirate Puzzle. If you've never heard of the game, it's a MMORPG of uh, pirates and puzzles, basically. So every action you take gives you a puzzle. Uh, for example, bilging water, or sailing, or distilling rum, or constructing ships is all different mini games. But you get to a point in that game where you have large clans with people manning the ships. And I was lucky back then, and I, again, I'm saying 20, maybe 20 years ago already, or maybe a little bit less, but still a long time ago, I was pretty young. I was blessed to being a. Uh, a quarter mate, or I don't remember if that's a proper title, but whatever. And I was allowed to lead a ship in a clan versus clan battle for conquest of an island. And the combat sequence was special. Felt like what we're getting in Port Royal 4. You add some actual elements to implement in your strategy. So your ships add their momentum if you were going forward. At full speed, you could not slow on a dime and turn around to shoot your cannon. You had, you had to set up every shot. You had to be prepared. You had to be prepared. You had to be prepared for the boarding. You had a mini game for the boarding that all people on the ship will participate to win in a, a sword fight. It, it was very interesting. You also had on the, the battle map, the tactical ship battle map, uh, you had to order the cannons in advance, and it was basically a turn-by-turn, -turn, but executed at the same time. So you and the enemies and all your friendly ship will give order, for example, go forward 2Ks, shoot on the side, and uh, board an enemy, and it was like that. So it was a turn-by-turn, real-time execution, which I think works better for ships. In fact, during my initial research, when I was wondering what people were complaining about on the title before I even downloaded it, I found a comment on YouTube video. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it is. I'm not able to find it again. But it was someone who spoke about Sid Meier's Ace Patrol combat system, which I think it fits, will fit very well in line with my previous memory exclusive experience of Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho Pirate Puzzle. Pirate Puzzle, sorry. And I think an implementation of a, a game system like Sid Meier's uh, Ace Patrol, where your, your airplanes keep their velocity, they, you have to manage the, the airplane altitude, it's not tra transferable 100% in the ship battle, but it will be more interesting than what we're getting right now, where the ship can turn on the time and start shooting. Uh, it just... It, it feels awkward. It doesn't feel like a real naval battle when you have like the ship of the line that squeeze in between two of your corvettes to, to shoot at them. It just feels awkward. I wish that there will be some change. I appreciate the turn-by-turn -turn mechanism, but I think uh, it, it should be more balanced. First of all, maybe both you and your enemy 
give order to all your ship and then they execute at the same time. And also some variety because right now it's open water all the time. But if I engage in combat by a, a port or by a, a reef, why is it not included? Why is there no element of this present in the battle to have an effect? For example, if I, I'm well protected by a reef when I get engaged by enemy, then I should be able to set myself up in a defensive position to, to better defend myself. Currently, the way it is, it's just, it's kind of a free-for-all. Uh, the best thing I've noticed is you can board enemies to knock them out of the battle when they don't have any troops left, but uh, it's not an interesting way to do it as you put your own ship out of commission for the remaining of the battle. Yeah, otherwise, it's not perfect, it's not very enjoyable the way it's implemented in Port Royal 4, but I think the main point I wanted to make about it is stop complaining. Change is nice, change is important, because otherwise you'd just be playing the same title again and again like they used to do. But I'm really curious to know what you think about it. Did you give a try? Did you see how it's played? Do you like the change? Do you dislike the change? Do you wish we just had another copy-paste title? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.